and welcome to another Purveyor of Light Capture One Quick Tip. Uh, today we've got a pretty common problem that we're going to solve here. Uh, a lot of times we'll shoot photos of portraits of people or uh, family gatherings, events, things like that. And we'll notice that, you know, maybe somebody has some coffee stains or, or slightly yellowed in, in the teeth smile. And uh, we don't want that to happen. Uh, we want our customers and our people and friends and family to look the very best that they can so we're going to give them a little helping hand here in capture one now a lot of times you know people will automatically try to go into photoshop to do it and and of course photoshop does a fantastic job uh doing it but you could do it right here in capture one okay and it's very very easy now just like anything else in photoshop there's 26 different ways to do the same thing uh it's true here in Capture One as well. There are at least six different ways here to deal with the yellowing or stain of the teeth. Okay, what I'm going to show you is my personal uh, preference method. I think it gives you the best results, and it's very very easy to do. Okay, so what I want you to do is just follow along, and uh, we'll get it started. So the first thing we're going to do here is I picked a uh, nice smile here beautiful teeth and i'm going to make a new adjustment layer and i'm going to make it an empty adjustment layer okay and the reason i want to do that is because i want to uh, isolate just the teeth okay so i'm going to name this teeth so i know what i'm doing and i have my adjustment layer made okay now what we need to do is we need to mask out just the teeth okay so i'm going to select the uh, paintbrush and i have just going to draw an outline around the gum line okay and i'll probably speed up the video uh, so you don't get overly bored i'm going to press m to show the mask and then i'm just going to come in and trace around now when you're doing this precision doesn't count it really doesn't all right you don't have to spend you know all day sitting there trying to make a very accurate mask okay all you need to do is to make sure that you are selecting the teeth so now i'm going to go ahead and probably fast forward this until i get it completed Okay, so now that we have our outline uh, laid out, we're going to come up here to the Layers panel on these three dots here, and I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to say Fill the Mask. And there we go. Okay, so now that we have a completely filled-in mask, isolating the teeth, uh, we can uh, now hit M to turn off the mask. Okay, so... We just have the teeth now looking at normal. Now, the one thing is, remember that everything about color is a science, right? And if we understand how colors work, we can actually correct this. Now, if you look at the teeth, they're yellow, with maybe a little tint of green, right? And if we look at a color wheel, okay, and we see... Okay, if the teeth are yellow and green, okay, on this side of the, the, the uh, color wheel, what's opposite of it? We're into the blue regions, okay? So if we increase the blue, okay, the blues and the magentas, we're going opposite on the color wheel. So we're going to be taking the yellow out by increasing blue. Okay, so the more you understand the color wheel, the easier the solution is to the problem. Okay, so again, we have a yellow, greenish tint teeth, and we have our color wheel here. Okay, and we have to turn around and increase the greens and the yellows by going opposite color. Okay, and if you look around the border of the wheel, 
it's already doing this for you. It's telling you if you have yellow, you can increase the blues and that will take the yellow out. So we have the highlights selected and now we're going to take the color. Okay, and we're going to start dragging toward the blue area. And you're seeing the teeth. I'm going to go really radical just to show you this. You see how we're turning the teeth white by increasing blue? Okay. So it's nothing more than doing the opposite color on the color wheel to remove the yellow. Okay. So that was the highlights. Let's do the midtones. Same thing. Come in. Increase the blues. And now the shadows come in and reduce it. Now, you can already see on how much we've already... Look at that. That's the before and that's the after. We've made a great improvement. They look very natural. Okay, and that's the main thing is there's a lot of photo editing programs out there that try to whiten teeth, but they turn the teeth into like chiclets, okay? Uh, they don't look real. They, they, they don't look natural. Okay, and the worst thing you want to do is whiten the teeth to the point where you have chiclets. Okay, now there's one last step that you can do, and this one's optional. But in this case, I've got a little bit of yellowing in here. I'd like to do just one additional step. All right. So I am going to come up here to the color editor. And you have a little pen here. I'm going to select the little pen, and I'm going to select the yellow part of the teeth. Okay, and you'll see it selected that color range and I'm going to increase the color range all the way to the full. And now watching the teeth just very simply, I'm just going to drop the saturation a little bit. Not too much, because if you make it, if you make it like that, look, it looks like chiclets, fake, fake chiclet teeth. Okay, we don't want that. We just want to bring it down to just to widen it just a little bit. Okay, and I think that looks very natural. Let's let's take a look. The before and the after. The before and the after. And I think that's a really natural thing. There's your before and there's your after. Very natural, very realistic and easily done and we didn't have to go into photoshop and do layers and all this other stuff we just turn around and mask the teeth and then we just used color science to correct the color okay so if you don't already have one go get yourself a color wheel okay you can turn around and do a google search and just type in color wheel and download one keep it to your hard drive uh and refer to it when you're working with colors because it will help you in so many ways in cut making color corrections okay and then after over time you're going to actually memorize the opposite colors okay and if you ever worked with a color mixer things like that uh, in photoshop uh, opposite colors you increase one color decrease one color it makes color corrections so there you go that's it from this to this i think we've done a really good job it's very easy to do and uh anybody can do it so till next week you guys take care see you next week